Hello everyone, welcome to business analytics using Excel fundamentals. This is part 2 of module 1. Before moving further ahead, I would request you to please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell icon so that you can be notified for any new upcoming videos. If you have any doubt, you can just type it in, in the comment box and I will try to answer all those questions. All the Excel files that I will be using in this session are upcoming sessions will be available on InnoMind app. You can download the app from the Play Store, Google Play Store and this is the QR code in case you want you can scan this QR code and download it from the Play Store. Before this video we have covered add, fill, split, transpose, sort filter, tables, drop downs and analyze. Today we will be doing charts. Let me tell you one thing that this particular exercise of making charts is just uh, a basic outline or basic brief. We will be covering advanced chart uh, video in the next uh, module that is module 2 and that will be available only on the app section that is InnoMind app. So if you want to study the detailed version please download the app and you can find all the detail over there. So. We have a table here that has year and the number of conferences that have attended, attended that uh, conference. To make a chart on the basis of this, we'll select this table and we have quick analysis. From here, we'll go to charts and we can click on more charts and we can select the charts. Otherwise, we can do one thing, control Q and then we'll go to insert and here we have recommended charts so this will basically recommend what kind of chart is suitable for this data so i'll select our area this and i'll click on recommended charts so here you can see there are different kind of charts that is being recommended for this thing i'll click on the second one that is a clustered column and as soon as i click ok you can see my chart is getting ready just a second yeah so this is our chart and you can just click it and drag it anywhere you want so I'll place it here now you see on the bottom we have x-axis and on to the left we have y-axis that is vertical axis and we can double click on this and we'll open the format axis toolbar from here we can change and modify our axis so we have two options that is first is axis option and other is text option so in the text axis option we have this in which we have minimum and maximum area this 1400 is maximum and minimum is zero if you want to increase it you can increase it to 1500 I'll change it and as soon as I do it you can see the y-axis upper and lower limit gets changed now you see it has changed to 1500 now now I'll double click it and I can again open this so here we have access options in which you can change the access major and minor for the units you can change all those things are there similarly for the tick marks we can change inside or outside whatever place we want so you can see this is coming as a minus sign similarly we can change for the labels where you want the labels you can click on like this So this is how you can change the labels. Now I'll do control Z to remove all the formatting that I have done. Now you can also see this is getting overlapped here. You can also modify it by changing 
so here the text axis date axis all these things will be covered in later section yeah we have fill how you want to fill it you can change the solid line you can change the color whatever you want you can try and do the experiment by doing that you will be learning more and more about this so we'll do one thing here we have chart tools suppose I have clicked this then we have chart design here okay. in this we have multiple elements that we can add on in this here we have add chart element now we'll be adding a trend line to it you click on trend line trend line is basically telling us how our graph is moving so I'll add a basic linear trend line or you can even add an exponential one or the linear forecast or the moving average so I'll add just a linear one and you can see a dotted line that appears here now I'll re-click it I go to add chart elements I'll go to data table and here with legend keys now you see as soon as I click on this with legend keys you can see the number of attendees is getting placed at the bottom here and you can see the value you can even change it by selecting here and you can change the graph type here whatever kind of chart you want you can select it from here different designs are there different and you can change according to that and in format section you can format the charts you have multiple options here you can change it and select it as per your requirement if you want to change the chart type you can change from here click here if you want to make it a line chart you can select this if you want to make it a pie chart you can do this you have multiple here and you can select on the basis of that now we'll do the basic one that is here this is horizontal axis 2017 to 22 and this is a vertical axis so in this uh, we can uh, as I said we can modify it by double clicking on this area now there are sometimes we need a graph a, a simple graph between X and Y axis but sometimes we do need an another axis and that is the third axis so how to do that that next axis is called a secondary axis to make that suppose this are three columns here and select it and then basic chart will try to introduce we'll go to chart and then we'll add a clustered one so here is our chart I'll place it here now you see we have 2017 and the blue one is conference attendees and the orange one is food sales now what I want is to convert it this chart into something like this that is I'll select this orange one to which I want to change then I'll go to format just a second I'll click on change series type or you can also go to this place from here from insert Go to recommended charts from here you can click on all charts and here combo or as the shortcut i have shown you earlier now here we have two things now it is asking which axis you want to be selected as a secondary axis now i want the food sales to be selected as secondary axis as soon as i click it you will get some preview something like this and as you click ok you can see it is here now other way is you click here and here from here here also you will be getting the secondary access option if you click it it gets changed or modified okay. so these were the three different ways how you can convert the access now let me show you a few more things here suppose I have selected this and I want to make a pie chart out of this either you can select directly from here these are the some charts available here or you can just go to a recommended charts there are something called as pivot charts and this I'll cover in next class with basic pivots table will be doing and from there we'll be understanding how pivot charts can be done 
so i'll go to recommended charts here and i'll go to pie chart and click ok so this is how we have so we do not know exactly what is the percentage here until unless we hover over that chart area so we have in this this is thousand and it's 19% in 2019 2019 is gray here but we do not know what's the exact number so we can even edit it and we can see exactly what are the different things so as soon as you click add data labels you can see exactly what is the exact number similarly you can enter or mark the percentage area into this and whatever you want you can modify it you can change the chart type from chart design from here or you can change from here that will include the percentage or I can do something like this this or anything which you want you can even modify this you can modify this and according to that you can even change the size of it you can copy and format this for whole other and you can do it so that's all for charts and in next video we will cover pivot tables and before moving or saying bye I'll request you please like this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you